Well, hello everyone. I have a very special and at least exciting to me announcement to make. I have been absolutely honored to have been chosen as the author of two essays that will appear in the 50th anniversary book that's commemorating the 50th anniversary, obviously, of John Hosper's very seminal libertarian work, Libertarianism, A New Political Philosophy for Tomorrow. That was right there at the birth of the party. So I feel like I really am entering into libertarian history and party history, if I have not done that already. So let me show you a cover of this book. It is coming out, I believe, late October. I have an advanced like electronic copy, but let me pull up the cover here. Here you go. I think I chopped it off a little bit because it was the, the file was huge, but you get the idea here. Break free from Big Brother and there is John Hospers. So I believe this is at least the working cover, but I do think it's the final cover. And I'd like to show you the title of my two essays that will appear. Here is the index and you can see Unearthing and Preserving, which is about my historical preservation work. And down here at the bottom, let me move this up a little bit, is an essentially libertarian view of abortion is neither conservative nor progressive. Now let me give a little bit of background on this. When I was a brand new libertarian, I wrote an article called Abortion and the Libertarian Conscience. It appears on Independent Political Report. Let me see if I can find a copy of that for you here. Okay, there it is on Independent Political Report, Abortion and the Libertarian Conscience. And I don't see the date on this. So it looks like it was originally posted August 25th, 2015. So I was not even a libertarian for a year at that point because I had my conversion experience on Constitution Day 2014, September 17th. And this was an issue that weighed heavily on my mind. You know, coming from a more conservative viewpoint and obviously very steeped in my Christianity at that time, though my position on abortion is not dependent upon my Christianity, as it were. And my position at the time, and I have to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure it's my position today. I'm not talking about my position on abortion entirely. I hadn't been in favor of laws outright banning abortion even before I was a libertarian. I did not think laws were the answer. I thought social change was the answer. And so it was easy for me to move into the libertarian view. When I wrote that article, I was arguing for the deletion of the abortion plank in the National Libertarian Party platform. I still softly hold that position, probably not as hard as I had it at the time. I actually do believe it's a, a pragmatic safeguard, I think from some, how do I word this? While I do think there are people who are coming from the more conservative or Republican side that legitimately become libertarians. And this is just like a really big sticking point for them. And having it in our platform gains us nothing. It's it's a wedge issue and our platform plank basically says nothing. Let's take a look at what the national platform says. And we're gonna get into my article, but I figured why not go on this a little bit of a rabbit trail. So here it is in the national platform. And it says, recognizing that abortion is a sensitive issue and that people can hold good faith views on all sides, we believe that government should be kept out of the matter, leaving the question to each person for their conscientious consideration. And I suppose that was the, you know, it's actually very artfully worded if you're really not trying to take a position, but just say, leave the government out, which is essentially the libertarian position. But so many battles have been 
fought over this plank. And while I am comfortable with it now, I wasn't entirely comfortable with it coming into the party. And it was somewhat of a barrier. And I was legitimately libertarian. But I also believe it is a barrier perhaps to people who perhaps aren't getting their way in the Republican Party and aren't necessarily libertarian. So it is somewhat of a bulwark that keeps not libertarians or not essentially libertarians or not even majority, you know, libertarian views from the party and it does protect the party in a way. So I'm very torn, though I do believe I still come down on it should just be deleted from our platform. But right now I could go either ways and it's not something I particularly campaign for, though that article has been pretty influential. And considering I wrote it when I was a baby libertarian, I am proud of the argumentation I made on it. And it's been shared thousands of times. This is all said just to give you a background on my involvement with this issue. So over time, just arguing the abortion issue with other libertarians. I have been extraordinarily frustrated by both sides. My own side, which I feel kind of a calling to correct more than another side. So when I say my own side, I don't believe government should be involved in the matter. Of course, there are some people who would hold my ultimate position on abortion who do think government should be involved. But what my ultimate position is on abortion, it is that in most cases, I believe that it is a taking of a rights-bearing human being and an immoral act. Some people may say, aha, then why shouldn't the government be involved? I did a whole video on this, an hour's worth of material where I was talking to a prospective Libertarian Party member Hopefully I can remember to put it up here wherever it goes in a card so that you could watch that video if you're more interested in how I, you know, square that circle as it were. But even in arguing with people who might think government should outlaw it, shouldn't outlaw it, but still share my fundamental view about abortion, I find that they do not argue like libertarians. They argue like perhaps the conservatives or the Republicans that they once were. And conversely, on the other side, I find also very bad arguments that are arguing from an essentially Democrat or progressive view. They're not arguing as libertarians. So my goal in writing this article wasn't to argue for my view of abortion. It was to encourage people to adopt at least, no matter what side they come on, essentially libertarian arguments. So that is the goal of this, this article. I'm very, very proud of it. Like, <laughs> like anything with abortion, you put 10 libertarians in a room, scream abortion, shut the door, you'll be lucky if any of them survive. And even though I do think this article was written, written did I say written, written, was written in a very, ironic tone and again just arguing that you should argue like a libertarian it probably will still ruffle some feathers on both sides so if it doesn't on both sides i guess i am happy and mission accomplished i don't know my mission is actually to get people to argue like libertarians so here is just a little teaser of the beginning as you can see i am so so proud of this and Ooh, move it around. Boop, boop, boop. Let me uh, close this out here. Everyone will be able to read this when the book comes out. But I wanted to offer to my patrons an advance read. So I will be posting that article on my Patreon. So if you would like to read it and argue about it ahead of time, I will also start a channel for that in my Discord. So we can all argue there. And again, patrons do get access to my private discord. Here is my Patreon. Yes, I am shamelessly grifting. So please consider becoming a patron if this is something you would like to see, but also because you generally support my work. I do think I have a very niche, you know, subject matter, but that libertarians should should. I shouldn't tell people should like my channel, but I do think a lot of libertarians will find a lot of value in what I do since it's not 
this in-depth coverage of the Libertarian Party and from a, you know, it, analyzing issues from a very specifically Libertarian Party perspective and from a Libertarian Party insider, though right now I am in exile. Maybe I'll be a former insider, maybe a future insider. I do think is a voice that was sorely needed if I can say so without, you know, sounding too full of myself or something, because that's definitely not where my heart is at. So please, if you support my work and you'd like to see this article, please consider becoming a patron. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I will hopefully get that up there tonight or the same night I post this video, but if not immediately, it will be shortly thereafter. So thank you very much. And I do appreciate your support. And while we're talking about support, why not? I've got merch tinyurl.com forward slash pink flame merch and I add different things probably weekly and for my $25 a month patrons you get to pick one free t-shirt a year out of the store in addition to other perks all right that is all I have to say for today well not today because I guess today I did a lot of things I did an interview with Angela McCardle that I thoroughly enjoyed as well as some other videos. But that's all I have to say for now. I hope you have an awesome evening and live free. Mi guapas de libertad.